a short biography of saint ramalinga swamigal his full name is arut prakash vallala chidambaram ramalingam popularly known as vallala he was the foremost saints of the 19th century who propagated the notion of samarasa suddha sanmarga satya sangam it means common pure good and true way of life he came to uplift the whole humanity towards perfect bliss without hunger disease thirst desire poverty fear and death with full self existent delight or bliss through true knowledge true love true compassion accompanied by common wealth activities without disparities of dogmatic rituals pertaining to any religion philosophy caste creed color sex or nationality Saint Ramalinga was born at Marudur a small village 15 kilometers northwest of Chidambaram on Sunday October 5th 1823 at evening 554 Ramaya Pillai a Shaiva faith and Chinnamai were the couple who were blessed with this embodiment of God Saint Ramalinga was the fifth child of Ramaya who had remained childless after losing five wives in succession and then married Chinnamai as his sixth wife Ramalinga was exposed to a spiritual experience at Chidambaram Nataraj temple When he was barely 5 months old the parents took the baby boy to the sacred shrine of Nataraja for worshiping the deity and the priest drew aside the veil that is the screen the child experienced the formless aspect of god when ramalinga was 6 months old his father died and his mother moved to her village ponneri in the first stage of his life saint ramalinga followed the path of devotion in the path of devotion complete surrender to god is possible only through the shedding of ego the early songs of saint ramalingam show how he was troubled with this ego and how he got rid of it through the help of god from his 12th year onwards saint ramalingam worshiped lord tyagaraja vadivode amman and muruga at tiruvattur in chennai until his leaving chennai in his 35th year he regularly visited this temple for 23 years in these 23 years of his life he underwent many spiritual and mystical experiences he left the city of chennai because he thought that the city was not conducive for a spiritual life Saint Ramalinga lived for 9 years that is 1858 to 1867 at a small village known as Karunguri This 9 year period of stay in Karunguri is an important phase in his life During this period he lived in isolation he spent most of his time in meditation and in worship This period reveals a great change in his ideas and ideals. His thoughts while living in Chennai were about religion whereas while he was in Karunguri it was a stage of transition from religion to transcendentalism. After spending 9 years in solitude and meditation he became a sanmargi it means one who realized the underlying truth of all religions he did not stop with that he wished to establish a new society on the basis of his realization 
Saint Ramalinga selected Vadalur, a small village near Chidambaram, as the place to formulate and extend his plan for a society based on love and honesty. In 1865, he established a poor feeding center on the inaugural day and he named it Dharma Shala. On the inaugural day of Dharma Shala, he lit the fire on the stone stove with the declaration that the fire shall be alive and the needy be fed forever. On January 15, 1872, he established the Satya Jnana Sabha, which means Hall of True Knowledge. Saint Ramalingam spent his last part of his life in a small hut known as Siddhi Valaham. It means the place of attainment or self-realization. It is situated in a small village called Metukuppam. Here Saint Ramalingam practiced the life of a yogi and lived in isolation. Till 1874 he lived in Siddhi Valaham hut. On January 30th 1874 he disappeared from that hut. Saint Ramalingam locked himself inside the room which he used to occupy. and expressed his desire that none should venture to open it he also added that if the government officials persist to open it let them be convinced of his desire of not opening it if it is opened the room will be found vacant since from that moment itself he will enter the soul of everyone and lead them to the right path of grace These utterances proved to be final is the claim that he supposedly attained a divinization of the physical body He attained a total of 3 transformations His first transformation was the transformation of his normal human body into the perfect body which he calls Shuddha Deham It is between the supposed attributes of this body a total invulnerability to everything thus rendering him effectively immortal and impervious to any kind of damage as well as having the attributes of being omnipotent omnipresent and omniscient this body is apparently made of divine light beyond this state there was a subsequent transformation by which the perfect body that is shuddha deham transformed further into the grace body which he calls arul deham possessing the following attributes this body had automatically a young appearance like that of a kid can be seen but cannot be touched and has complete and absolute dominion over all the siddhis or powers that is even beyond the state of grace body that is arul deham Supposedly there was a third and final transformation in which the grace body was transformed into the bliss body. This body is the body of the supreme godhead and is automatically omnipresent but cannot be perceived by anyone. By achieving this Saint Ramalinga demonstrated that the ultimate states of spirituality can in fact be attained in this world with this physical body and death is not a necessity to experience the ultimate spiritual experience